Hi, I'm Dan. I'm also known as The Vintage RVer. This is my channel, uh, The Vintage RVer channel. And this is a fix-it video, or I should say retrofit video. Um, I cleaned up my engine bay, removed a lot of stuff that was there. And uh, this is a way of tackling what I call the fuel vent line that was plugged up. I unplugged it and routed it in a manner that I will be able to utilize the uh, vapors from the fuel tank should they build up and uh, not just release them to the environment. I'll take my stuff as gospel. This is just stuff that I'm working on at my comfort level, but hopefully it'll, it may give you some good ideas or at least help you become a little bit more knowledgeable about your RV. So enjoy. If you do, great. And if you learn something even better, and subscribe, hit the notification bell for new videos. And uh, I will see you folks on the road. Happy, safe, and healthy RV. Well, you can see there, I've got, let me zoom in here. That is one of the, that's the fuel vent line. Let me get my finger out of the way. That's the fuel vent line. It's a solid line, then it goes to a flex line, then it went to the charcoal canister. Uh, what I'm finding when the weather's warm is that pressure builds up in the fuel tank when you take the gas cap off. You know, you get you can hear the pressure building up from the from the gas vapor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that, um, rig it up so if there is a either a vacuum assisted or a 12 volt actuated because there was a a valve here at one time uh, electrically activated. Um, one-way valve that'll allow it to, you know, allow the vapors to go into the carburetor and uh, basically burn up in the car. So I know it was vacuum assisted uh, before with a charcoal canister, but I don't want to put all that crap back. I just want to simplify it. But I am going to do something that's uh, going to try to rig it up. I've got some of the existing parts. I'm going to look into them, see whether or not I can repurpose it, or at least, you know, retrofit something so that way I can drill a hole in the bottom of this thing just you know there's spaces I can do that and then basically dump um, the vapors into the carburetor and I haven't removed this yet but I'm gonna I'm gonna do that and see what see if we get some pressure behind it eh, a little bit and you can see the vapors coming out by the way like ooh so those are the vapors I'm gonna you can see that a little bit a little bit of ripple down in that corner there based on the lamp. You can see here my bright yellow. This is a vacuum va actuated valve. So there's a vacuum line here. And what it does is when that vacuum is activated, it pushes a plunger down and allows this and that to basically flow. See that little, there's a little valve in here and there's a rubber stopper. And when the vacuum sucks, it creates a vacuum here it pulls this whole plate down inside this cylinder and then the plunger drops down and allows anything to flow through this part of the valve so so obviously if it's vacuum activated it uh when the engine starts up and it creates a vacuum guess what that's gonna open so then i'll have this section of hose however i need to cut it it'll go from here and then I'll have another fitting, a piece of uh, tubing. I'll cut a hole through the top of this, and the tube will basically be anchored into the lid. So if I need to remove something, I can remove it. I can just do what I'm doing now, which is unscrewing the, the cover. See, there's my thing. The cover will, you know, flip off. And you see what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim it so that it goes down into the into the primary there in the carb. So it's gonna come down and then just kinda stick like towards the front end of the carburetor. So as I flip this cover, oh, there's gonna be a hole like right right there. Okay, I've taken my little pipe bender tool here and I've created my top of the carburetor piece here. So it's gonna go like that. And obviously this is gonna be further down inside. It's gonna be like, no gonna be like where that stops like that all right so I use my step drill here as you can see and I took it to 5 ace and drilled through the chrome 
the chrome cover and then I use my planishing hammer and straightened it out a little bit so that way you had a little bit better grip and then took a crescent wrench and you can see this thing slides up and down which is fine um, I just didn't want to go any further down than this you can see there see so that's going to be right above the primary um, portion of the carb and uh, that'll be good because it'll still be above it pretty decently it won't uh, won't mess with the operation of the uh, the flapper so you know, the valve in the in the carb which is cool well, we got this hooked up such as it is line here going in from the vapor tank here which is right down there as you can see got to clean up and make it handled are you doing it so that's been clamped off that's further down in and it's a little pressure so it's not like I got to worry about you know worry about whether it's gonna like I had to cut a little bit of a slot in it in order to get it to go over but the pipe goes much further down below that spot so we're good so hopefully the fumes will come up up this line across here into the valve vacuum line is hooked here and this line comes up and into the carburetor right here so we'll see how that works out go ahead and adjust a little bit there we go here's my uh vapor setup There she is. Over there. Over there. Coming up. Across. There. So this magic thing. And then off of the carburetor. And that's my uh, vent uh, burn off tube, I guess my call. Yeah. Not too shabby. 